everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 3D World. I'm Pengi9290, so let's get going. Well, everybody, welcome to World Bowser, which I often call Bowserland. I mean, seriously, look at this place. It looks like Eggman Land, There's, but made by Bowser. But whatever. Anyway, World Bowser-1, let's -a go. And I'm back. Uh, of course, as soon as I start the episode, I kick the, kick the tripod over. So I'll just probably just be cutting that out. Now up here, what's up here? Coins. Whatever. Basically, the gimmick for this level is spikes. Everywhere. Basically, the spikes, they're not one hit kill in Mega Man, like in Mega Man games, but still. They are quite annoying. And they basically barely give you a second to react. But anyway, for this little part, what you're supposed to do is go around that way and then go up that way with the cat suit to get that green star. But I've discovered that you can actually get it just by going like this. I really enjoy being able to break the level, semi. Oh jeez. Don't kill me. Thank you. <sighs> Ow. That was stupid. Speaking of stupid... Oh, come on. That was cool. Die. Okay, so, I'm using my Fire Flower again so I can get this cat suit. This is probably going to be the second or third green star. Yeah, this is the second, I think. And then the stamp would be backwards, I think. I can't remember, I haven't played this level in a while. Ah. Uh. Oh! God damn it. So, as I said, yeah, that's where the stamp is. At least I was correct about that. Have I actually been wrong about something in this level? Never mind. I don't know what I'm saying. Not that I ever do. So here. That block over there contains a, a star man, but... In all honesty, nothing happens if you kill all these guys, so... I usually just don't even bother, unless I want an extra life. And I'm kind of set on lives right now, so I don't think I really need to do that. Go away. Ow. So anyway, right here... Those are spiky uh, at times, so what you want to do is get your momentum on the floor where it's safe and then jump up on very short hops. And you shouldn't have too much trouble reaching the gold flag. But anyway, course clear. Also, one thing I'm not quite sure if I said earlier, but that level has a lot of rain in it. And I really like what they did with the rainy levels. Like, everything is all, sh all slightly shiny due to the water including the characters, and every now and then you even see a raindrop actually hit the camera. And I just think that's a really cool effect and idea. And slot machine. Okay, whatever. Meh. Okay, so... Ooh, Plessy level! Okay. I like Plessy levels. Especially this one. 
This is a lot different than usual. Why? Because you're on sand instead of water. And it's uh, also just flat out a lot harder than the rest of them. So, Green Star. Oh god. From here, there are clouds in between in those two statues. The statues are going to show you the path you actually need to take to get that stand. Also here, you need to break this Bowser statue. Who to make this last green star appear. Now where the hell is the stamp? I probably have to come back to this level. Do I? Yep, looks like it. I'm just gonna check the trees real quick to be safe. But I don't think there's too much of a point. So all we got... Yeah, they lift up this path of the thing. But there's nothing there. Okay. This long to check. Now this hill, it looks like you can just go straight down, but it's actually kind of bumpy. So it's hard. I wonder if I can get back up there using one of these trees. Not as toad, I can't. Oh, that sucks. Maybe I can spin jump? Yeah, no. Well, I'm gonna have to come back to the level anyway, so whatever. Doesn't really matter. And we got a block for a stamp. I really don't know why, actually. So, World Bowser Dash 3, Cookie Cogworks. Let's go. This is a Pretty fun level, but it's also kind of tricky at times. Anyway, as you can see, there are blocks down there, which means that this is a safe zone. Die. And also, in one of these blocks is a boomerang suit, which is actually ne well, not necessary, but just about necessary to get one of the green stars. So hold on to it for a little. Or at least just don't get killed until you get to here. And don't die from here until you get onto this gear. There we go. Green star. Anyway, as you can obviously tell by now, the whole thing about this level is there's like gears and stuff that are made of cookies. Now, this is kind of weird, but so what? It's fun. It's Mario. Doesn't have to make any logical sense. Ah, oh, come on. I feel it would have been safe there. Ah, there's the stand. Now, you'd think that this would give you a power-up so you can kill this thing, but nope, power-up's already over here. And I hit the wall instead of the ant things. So just ground pound, or just fall, and stamp. That leads you to an invisible pipe in there that you can't actually see, no matter what you set the camera angle for. Anyway, as you can see, boomerang is definitely the power hope of choice for this level. Down here is this, which should be the second green star. Oh god, what the heck? I don't remember this one. Green star. Okay. I got it. 
And then I believe I know where the last one is. Oh god, what? What was that? What just happened? Um. Okay. Ooh! Over there, you might see something in the background. Yeah, remember that for a sec. I missed the flag intentionally because you can actually jump down there. You actually have to jump down there if you want to complete the level. I'm just going to grab all the coins for no real reason. Just because I like... Man, I don't even care about coins. I'm just doing it to see if I can get a life out of it, which I can't. Wait, what the... Where'd that bunny come from? I knew the bunny was there, everyone, but I didn't see where it was hiding. I was going to go search the marshmallow things. Or whatever the heck those things are. They look like... I think they might be made of marshmallow to me, so don't ask. Oh! Y Come on! I really just did that. No, I showed the entire level, I'll just cut back to that. Oh, the bunny was just standing there. Okay, what? I just got a coin by running through this thing. There, I did it again. I wasn't imagining it, which wouldn't have been out of the question. Bunny! Yay, green star. Now this pipe, as I showed you before, it just takes you right back to here. Now, let's not screw this up this time. Go flag, good. I actually could have just jumped on the on the things in the background right there. The things that look like they're squares of chocolate to me. Great, now I'm starting to feel hungry. World Bowser Dash Train, the Bowser Express. And I probably just chose the worst character for this. But anyway, Neon Lit Train! Trust me, you'll be seeing a lot of neon in this world. Like, neon seems to be the level in the world's theme. Like, World 1 was a grassland theme. World Castle was a, a lava theme. This world is a neon theme. AKA Bowser abused neon to no end to make, make the world. to make the. Screw you. Well, talk about code interruptions. Wonder if I can combo these guys with jumps. Boing. Boing, 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 boing. Yay! That was fun, actually. Don't fall, Peach. That did nothing for me. Now here, I think what I might as well show. There's nothing here but a pal block and these things. And I'm going to die if I don't hurry up. But there's nothing in there for you. Oh jeez. Now you might be wondering how to get up there. Ground pound here. And I missed the stamp. Oh well. I'll come back for it. This is, this is by far my favorite train level. With the exception of the obvious money train from a couple episodes ago. Die. Aw, oh, damn it, I wanted to check if there was an 8-bit Luigi in front of the train. Whatever. And... We're fighting... Her, I can't remember her name all of a sudden. Pom Pom. Bop. 
I don't know why I felt like saying that. That was hard! Screw the coins. Who needs coins? So, with that, we have unlocked the second area with a whole crap ton of levels. This world is basically like two entire worlds combined into one. Two smaller worlds, but two worlds. I don't feel like doing a water level yet, so I'll do this one. World Bowser Dash 4, Footlight Lane. Please don't give me Toad. Thank you. This level's hard on to hard as Toad. I mean, because you basically you need to be able to have have fast reaction time and good jumping. And Toad is well, it's hard to react fast while you're playing as Toad because of just the speed you'll be going at. And yeah. Ooh, star. Anyway, the gimmick for this level is these platforms. Basically, just about the entire level is composed of them, and you can only see them once you get near them, or you ground pound on them. Or once it's blomp, who ground pounds on them. Or, as you're going to see in a bit, it, when a couple bullet bills explode on them. And anyway, I'm walking through this part because I don't want to risk getting... No. Basically just running off the edge. Ow, that was dumb. Not quite as hard as it looks. Die. And power up. Yay. Get up there. Thank you. Get here. You can blow up the bullets with your boomerang. And here, you have cat bullets, which you do the same thing with. And then, by ground pounding here for those coins, you may have seen that there's actually platforms over here that you can jump on for the stamp. I'll just wait for this thing to explode so I can see the platforms I'm standing on. Die. Over this way should be the last green star. It's actually pretty easy. Just get on the floor and don't fall like I nearly did and grab the star. I don't I enjoy this level and I want to make myself look skilled so I don't want to screw this up. That's why I'm walking. Okay, there we go. Ah. And gold flag! So, what have we unlocked? Stamp House. Man, what the heck, I'll just grab it now before I forget. Like he did that one other time. Stamp. Eight bit Luigi. And let's keep going.
Okay, so, World Bowser Dash 5, Deep Water Dungeon. Might as well get this thing out of the way first. Actually, this level isn't all bad. Just the watery parts. And it's got the cool music, so I'm happy. And considering the, that music is supposed to be for lava levels, it's surprisingly fitting in this water world. Whoops. Okay, there's a stamp up there. I'm gonna get that real quick. Or maybe not. quiet there because I wanted to concentrate. Sorry about that. Uh, anyway, there's something up there on the top left corner of the screen. And by using the cats that you got, you can get the first green star. Right here, I could swear that there's something hidden here. Is there? If there is, I don't remember, so I'm just going to check real quick. Am I climbing the gate? No. Darn. Oh well. I'm just gonna check here to be safe. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Oh well. I know that they do that sometimes. Like, right before you go to an impassable section, there's, you hide something right there. Anyway, really short plusy section. Yeah, this is where I thought it was. There's stuff up here. And a green star. And also, you might notice those platforms going off to the side. But I don't think they actually have anything of interest on them. I'm just going to check to be safe. But I really doubt it. Yeah, no, not this one. I'm just going to trust that the other one doesn't either. Katsu, which is honestly more useful in this level. And for most of the game. Oh god. Wow. I was about to say let's try not to be hit. Ah, good job, me. Oh jeez. Me, don't screw up. Okay, good, made it. So anyway, to get the last green star, you need a Katsu. And then this one is all about jumpy stuff. Oh, I missed one. But, there we go. And basically this is where the pipe would have taken us. So it's not like some sort of secret exit, it, and it didn't skip us anything, it just skipped us having to go, go back, back down there and back into the pipe. Well, not back into the pipe, but... You know what I mean. Just checking to see how much I have left to do. Uh, I have a decent bit. But anyway, you know what? I think I'll call that a day. I'm tired from recording. So anyway, I've been. So anyway, bleh, words fail me at times. 
Anyway, in the next episode, we continue through World Bowser and basically complete all the rest of the levels remaining with the exception of the final level of the game. So, until then, I've been Peggy1990, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! What on earth am I saying the final level in the game? Final level in this world?